And welcome to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, a special Thanksgiving edition. And I am so fortunate to have on the line with me the guru, Coach Van Petaway. Coach, how are you doing today, sir? I am blessed and highly favored. I'm doing great, and uh, this is the, the season to be thankful. And I'm, I am very thankful for having you and this broadcast uh, doing the things that they're doing. Well, we're mighty thankful as well, sir, to have you be a special part of it. And uh, mm-hmm. with that, um, I got a little extra thanks to be for this yep. week, Coach. Uh, my Panthers yep. found a way, and uh, they were victorious this past weekend. And even though the score indicates it was a one-touchdown victory, total dominance from that game, man. And um, I'm truly happy and thankful for that. And as twisted as it may sound, Coach, it might not be as glamorous as others, but in the last three seasons, the Panthers have won two West titles for football at right. 6 and, and 5. And that's a, that's a testament to uh, the program, having a, a, a true program and not just a team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're truly, truly thankful. Uh, we're going to do these final grades and then um, we're going to touch a little bit. We're not going to extend you too long because we know it's the holiday season and I'm so glad that we're able to get together on this so we can recap what was and look at the two main games that'll be Friday and uh, Saturday for our final picks of the regular season, Coach. Right. Uh, you know, it, it, it's just, it seems just like the other day that we started this and here we are Get ready to end this season. Now, time goes yes, by sir. when you're having fun. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. All righty. So, we will start. The first game was Thursday, last Thursday, where mm-hmm. my Alabama A&M University Bulldogs plays host to Mississippi Valley, and my Bulldogs won that game 30-21. to 21. I'm going to give my Bulldogs a B in that game, and I'm going to give Valley uh, – a B, a B also. Well, it's the final grade of the year, Coach. I'm going to be a little generous myself. I'm giving uh, your Bulldogs an A, and I'm going to give Valley a C plus. I can't give them a B, but I'll give them a C plus. Okay. Okay. And then uh, next up, down in Jackson, Mississippi, Jackson State played host to Alcorn State. Alcorn State went in there and won that game 28-24. to I give Alcorn State an A. Jackson State will have to take a C on this one because they were at home. Yes, sir, and I'm doing slightly the same but different. I give an A for Alcorn, and I give a B- minus for Jackson because Alcorn still had something to play for, and Jackson gave them a little bit of a, of a fight for a little while. Right, right, just for a little while. All right. <laughs> and then uh, out in Texas, Texas Southern played host to Arkansas Pine Bluff. And wow, Arkansas Pine Bluff fooled everybody. They won that game 35 to 34. I'm going to give Pine Bluff an A, and I'm going to have to give Texas Southern a B minus. Well, whew, I said I was going to be generous. And as a result, not that this was the game that did it, but this was a game that killed any chance of Texas Southern uh, continuing to work with Coach McKinney, blowing a 31-13 to 13 lead in the fourth quarter, I might add, to end up losing by one is inexcusable. Um, you got to give all the, the uh, credit, as you mentioned, to Golden Lions. Yep. Um, and for that, I gave Golden Lions an A+. Plus. And I, I'm, I'm still going to be generous, and I'm going to give Texas Southern a C-, minus, even though they blew that lead. And as a result, from my opinion, outside looking in, may have killed the last hope of any extension for Coach McKinley. McKinney. I'm sorry, uh, because they did such a dominant, dominating performance the week prior against Alcorn did right. late in the Yep, yep, you're absolutely correct. And then on down to Orlando, Florida, where Florida A&M and Bethune-Cookman hooked up. Florida A&M won that game 24-7. to 
I'm going to give the Rattlers an, an A in that game, and I'll give Bethune-Cookman a C-. minus. Well, the Rattlers proved me to be a genius yes. this season. You know, they completed the 10-1 and one record. Now I need them to go 10-2. and two. We'll talk about that later. But <laughs> they, uh, I've given them an A as well, and I'm going to give Bethune a C. Um, because they did uh, somewhat try to make a contest out of it, but fam, you was just on on full throttle right now. Full throttle. Right, right, right. And that, and so that uh, took care of that that week. Now, next up, we got two games on Thursday. Turkey Day Classic. We got Alabama. Now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Oh, 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 I am minute. so wait sorry. I am so sorry. Wait a the minute big, now. Wait a minute. You the hit. biggest game of the year. I did pray. Yes. I'm gonna tell you why I forgot about it. I, okay. Because I didn't think the fans took the game serious. And, and I Coach, think that's, don't, don't, that's don't kill my joy. Why, don't kill that, my joy right that, now, that, Coach. That, don't that, kill that, me. That's why, that's why it, it slipped my mind. Because when you only have 1,300 people to show up for a game of this magnitude, it, it'll make you forget some things. But your Prairie View Panthers <laughs> played host to Alabama State, a game with, that meant everything. With everything right. on the line, your right. Panthers showed up and showed out. They won the game 21-14. I don't care if they didn't win, but by one. They needed a win, and they got it. So I'm going to yes, give those sir. Panthers, I, I'm, I'm going to give them a, a A+. Plus. It, it ah, was higher than there an you a. go. They get it. And, and Alabama State will have to get a, a C on this one. Well, I, I'm, you know I'm in agreement with that A++, Coach. I'm going to say A++. <laughs> plus, yeah. um, this, this game uh, showed the character that the Panthers have in spite of, and I say in spite of because of the fan base issue. And I'm going to touch on that in just a moment. Uh, but Alabama State, um, they were really handled from start to finish. That score was nowhere close as it shows on the scoreboard. Uh, we broadcast that game live through our network. And when I say the Panthers had control of that game, they had control of that game. But I still will give Alabama State a C for their performance because they they finally tried to get it together. It was a little too late, but, you know, better late than never. Panthers did their thing. And I spoke on the show this week, Coach, uh, about they don't want to admit it, but the TV executives – that's going to be carrying the celebration game. They are crossing eyes, toes, fingers, and anything else they can cross. Legs, that fam you wins the championship game because Howard is going to be representing the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. And let's be honest, Howard, great institution, great, strong alumni base, but they don't show up well. And between a Howard Prairie View game, that would be a disaster for the TV execs, and their hope is that FAMU wins to boost their, their rating numbers, and, and that's the bottom line, and I can't get upset with them about that, but that's the reality that we're in because of the lackluster attendance, and we can use every excuse in the book uh, for why it's not happening and this over that. The bottom line is You've got to support your own. It makes oh, no yeah. sense to me, Coach. And maybe you can answer this maybe, and try to talk me off this ledge. How on God's green earth can you go and, let me just put it out there, spend money that you don't have trying to impress folks by going to these, these classics, but then you won't show up when it's in your own backyard. Right. Or you try to show up and give an illusion that we're mighty and strong and valid and support going on the road, but you don't show up when it's in your backyard. And to add insult to injury, it was a game on the line for winner takes all as far as winning the West. Senior day. And you only had 1,350 people show up. And then I had some people respond and say, well, they adjusted the numbers and it was uh, 6,200 that showed up. And even if they adjusted the numbers, that still wasn't accurate. And to add insult to injury, if you're going to adjust them numbers, what other numbers you've been adjusting? Right. So, you know, and, and the, the stadium holds 15,000 people. And to me, I'll try to adjust. Well, 
It wasn't just 1,300, it was 6,200. That's still shameful for a game of that magnitude. I and agree. So I'm through. I folks. agree. I'm through. I agree. You know. I agree. And it's not It's not just in Prairie View, Texas. It's at Alabama A&M. That Thursday night game, we didn't have 1,000 people in those things. We didn't have 1,000 mm. people in those stands. I don't care what numbers they put out there. I was there. They're, they're, yes, and, sir. And, and it's, uh, this is all across the country when it comes to HBCU sports. Yeah, we, we as, a, as a people, have to support our own. We should yes, not sir. expect other people to always support us. We have to do it ourselves. And I just yes, think sir. it's a wake-up call. I think it's a wake-up call for all of our alumni bases to, uh, to wake up and show the respect that these different programs and these athletes deserve. And so no doubt. Don't, don't feel like the Lone Ranger is not just in prayer view. It's all over. So you're going to Michael Jackson me, you are not alone. <laughs> you are not alone. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I got that off my chest, Coach. We got two games for this regular season uh, roundup matchup. And as you say, it starts on Friday. Thursday. Thursday, you got Thursday. You got yeah, Thursday. that's right. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Turkey Day Classic in Montgomery, mm-hmm. Alabama State playing host to Tuskegee. I'm Alabama State all the way in this one. Well, I am, too. It's usually been a very uh, highly contested a battle between these two programs, but I just think Alabama State's going to finish uh, with an exclamation mark, and I'm going with Alabama State as well. Right. So. All right, and then you, 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 it's, it's time to go down to New Orleans, and uh-huh. where Gremlin and Southern are going to play in the classic that they call the Bayou Classic, and I'm going to go with Gremlin in this one. Uh, yes, sir. You, you're not going to get a tug of war with me on this one as well because I just think that uh, Hugh Jackson is showing some stability, of course, with what has happened at Southern, and they have the momentum on their side. It's still a rival game. Anything can happen, but I think that Graham is going to have a little bit more juice in the tank to finish this thing on the victorious side of the, of the lane. Right, 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 and I just think uh, this has been a great season. I, I know that, you know, Southern made a change. Um, Texas Southern has said that they're they're not going to renew uh, coaches' contracts. So um, I think at the end of uh, Saturday night, we will see if any more dominoes will fall uh, in the swag because that will be the the end. And I think most people are looking at trying to get a coach in so that they can uh, have some chance to recruit. And I know the people down at, in Baton Rouge, they'll – they're saying that they need somebody in there by Christmas. That's going to be a look to me. They'll be rushing if they try to do that. Well, I don't think it's going to be rushing because here's one of the things that I think on the HBCU level, we take too long to find the coach because best believe if you're going to fire a coach in Southern's case, you've got to have a short list of who you'd like to replace. Okay. And, I think Christmas would be a very doable time to have a replacement in that can start with your recruiting and things of that nature. But when I look up and down the coaches' circuit of the SWAC, those are the only two that I would see that would possibly open unless you shaking a tree that I'm not quite known as being shaken, Coach. Because well, there, for the there, most there, there are rumors that Alcorn State is not happy. There, there are rumors oh. that, that, that they're not happy. Okay. So, so okay. That, that that that's that's why I brought that up. Now that was the that was the big talk that uh, people were not happy with the way Alcorn collapsed down the stretch. Well, that would be very very interesting, mm-hmm. uh, considering uh, the journey that they've been on these last few years, up and down. Uh, definitely would keep a watchful eye out for that one. So then we have two. As I'm about to play spades with you now, Coach. Two for sure and one possible about, <laughs> you know, and uh, we'll definitely keep an eye out for that. Now, we're, we're going to have a week in between, and we're going to definitely get us some basketball in and then analyze this SWAC championship game. 
Well, Coach, I want to give you an opportunity to share, uh, to share uh, what it is that you're thankful about at this time of year. As you do that with your closing thoughts and comments. All right, thank you. Well, I'm, number one, I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful for family. I'm thankful for the man above giving us all an opportunity to see another day. And I think we should all be glad and rejoice in it and do the things that will keep us together as a nation, as a country, and as a world. And I'm also thankful for our relationship. And it means a lot to me and my family. And uh, I look forward to the future. And um, I'm sending Thanksgiving blessings off to everyone. And I hope everybody has a joyful and safe uh, Thanksgiving holiday. Thank you, sir. That was very well put. We are thankful uh, for the Petaway family. We're thankful for the SWAC family and all the organizations that make up that SWAC family. We're thankful for the listeners. We're thankful for family, friends. And I got to say food, Coach, because I'm, I'm going to get down with it. Ain't no change to the game, sir. I'm going to get down with it. And so and we're, we're just thankful for having the strength to do this daily. Uh, the strength to do it with enthusiasm um, and just to be consistent and for folk like yourself and other folk who have contributed to the network, we definitely couldn't get it done without you. And I'm, I'm mighty, mighty glad and thankful uh, to call you a friend, to call you a brother, yes. to call you a comrade, to call on you, period, that I'm truly, truly thankful. And with that being said, sir, I want you to enjoy this Thanksgiving I want you to eat like there's no tomorrow and think about the consequences later. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I want you to listen to be safe, travel safe, uh, enjoy. And remember, if you don't remember anything else, that without family, we are nothing. And on behalf of the guru, Coach Van Petaway, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, and yours truly, Dr. Mike Prince, we want to thank you guys so, so much. Be sure to follow me on X at the Mike Prince Show and subscribe to our YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And until the next time, you all be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.